How are natural populations distributed? I mean, if you take a number of measurements from a natural population and then you plot a histogram, what is the shape of the histogram? Here I show you the histogram of a few natural variables, like the petal length in a flower, or the height of black cherries, or the mean temperature in New Haven, or fertility in Swiss provinces. They all have something in common. They are distributed with a bell-shaped distribution, which is called the normal distribution. If you want to know why most natural populations are distributed normally, you should watch the extra lecture at the end of these lectures. So what is the normal distribution? A normal distribution is this bell-shaped distribution. It's very characteristic of natural populations and is mathematically well-defined. Obviously, you don't need to learn the formula here, but it is important that you learn some mathematical notation that will be useful later on. A random variable x, x has a normal distribution, n, with mean, mu, and a standard deviation, sigma. That's how we write whether a random variable is distributed normally. A normal distribution is defined by only two numbers, what we call two parameters, the mean and the standard deviation. Only with these two numbers you define the whole distribution. 68% of the values of x are between the mean plus minus one standard deviation, and about 95% of the values are between the mean plus minus two standard deviations. That's a concept that will be useful soon. There is something called the standard normal distribution, which is where the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. In that case, the distribution gets much simpler. We can say that 68% of the values are between minus one and one, and 95% between minus two and two. Remember, the mean of the sample is an estimate of the mean of the population, and the standard deviation of the sample is an estimate of the standard deviation of the population. So here's one graphical way of showing this. We start collecting the data, and then we compute the mean and the sample standard deviation. Remember the use of degrees of freedom. Then we fit a normal distribution, and that would be the infer normal distribution of the population based on our sample values.